So you're thinking about visiting or moving to Westerly, Rhode Island? Well, in today's video, we are gonna show you exactly what life would be like if you visit Westerly, Rhode Island, or if you live here. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is about living in Rhode Island, subscribe below, tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market here in Rhode Island. My name is Devin and my team and I, we get calls and texts every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Rhode Island and we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email so we can help you make a smooth transition here to the Ocean State. So we're currently here in the Watch Hill Historic District covering Westerly, Rhode Island. Now, Westerly is on the southern end of Rhode Island. It's going to be the first town that you hit coming from Connecticut in New York. This is why there's such a heavy influence from people that are coming from Connecticut, coming from New York. If you're coming from Connecticut, you can expect the drive to be anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half, maybe a little longer in the summer months, depending on the traffic. If you're coming from New York, you can expect the drive from two and a half hours to three hours, again, depending on that summer traffic. Now, Westerly is probably about a 25 to 20 minute drive from Narragansett. It's gonna be about a 40 to 45 minute drive from Newport. And if you're heading up north to Providence, that's gonna be anywhere from a 40 to 50 minute drive. Now, the major airport that you would be flying into to get to Westerly is going to be the TF Green Airport in Warwick, also known as the PVD Airport. The Westerly Airport, that doesn't have major planes flying in there. So they're not the planes that I fly on, <laughs> I prefer jets. So that is gonna show you the location and proximity of Westerly. Now there's only about 18,000 residents. We are currently here in November filming. It is absolutely dead right now. It is earlier in the morning, but you gotta keep in mind that most of Westerly is really a beachy town and that's what they're known for. We're really excited today to show you all about Westerly. We're gonna show you what neighborhoods in to live in, things to do, where to eat and where to stay. Let's get started. Now there are several different types of neighborhoods here in Westerly. We're gonna highlight five, which we feel are the most predominant neighborhoods that people are really looking for or sought after when buying real estate here in Westerly, Rhode Island. So we're currently standing in Watch Hill. The homes over here are absolutely stunning. So you have Watch Hill, Musquamacate, Winnipeg, Weekapog, and Shelter Harbor. So those are the five neighborhoods we will highlight today. So standing in Watch Hill, this is what you can expect. I mean, the architecture over here is phenomenal. The homes that have developed over here throughout, I would say the last 15 to 20 years, I mean, the price points over here are significant. You're, you're in a very affluent coastal neighborhood where a lot of the homes are waterfront. Celebrities have bought over here. One of the most famous ones being Taylor Swift. But look at the views these homes have. Look at the architecture on these properties. I mean, these types of roofs with the cedar shake shingles, I mean, hundreds of thousands of dollars just on the roofs. And as you walk over here, you will notice privacy. You will notice every property over here is well-maintained, beautifully taken care of because the level I would say of excellence over here is some of the best in Rhode Island. We are at the southern western most point here in Rhode Island and it's super private like I said and you'll find a lot of people that buy over here are looking for that privacy, they're looking for the luxury lifestyle. We're going to head out and we're going to head to the sky to show you the other four neighborhoods that we're going to talk about and highlight in this video. Mesquamacate is a popular coastal neighborhood. It's known for its easy access and walkability to Mesquamacate Beach and Atlantic Ave. The majority of properties in this neighborhood are summer homes or seasonal rentals. Over here, you'll find that properties are closer together with less privacy. The Winnipeg neighborhood has easy access to several popular beaches and attractions here in Westerly. However, you'll find more privacy in this neighborhood compared to Mesquamacate. Again, many of the homes in this neighborhood are either second homes or seasonal rentals, in addition to some year-round residents. The Weekapog neighborhood has a very elevated feel. The luxury homes in this location are well-appointed and very walkable to popular amenities such as the Weekapog Tennis and Yacht Club. You'll find more second homes and less rentals in this neighborhood. The Shelter Harbor neighborhood is a little more secluded and has more of a rural feel 
versus the coastal feel some of the other neighborhoods exude. Lot sizes over here tend to be at a little smaller and home prices a little less expensive. Now that we've shown you where to live, let's show you what to do. Now make no mistake, one of the biggest things people do here in Westerly, Rhode Island is head to the beach. A couple beaches that we'll highlight today in today's video is Fenway Beach, Dunes Beach, Musquamacut Beach, which we're standing on, and Westerly Beach, and many more. Now, the beaches also are very popular, obviously, in the summertime. As you can tell right now, we are not in the summer months. However, this is what most people do when they head to Westerly, Rhode Island, to enjoy the summer months. On the next slides, we're gonna show you nine other things that you can do when visiting Westerly, Rhode Island. Now that we showed you what to do, let's cover where to eat. One of my favorite restaurants here in Westerly, and there are a lot of options, is this cute little place here in the Watch Hill Historic Districts known as the St. Clair Annex. I like this place. It's got a very, you know, mom and pop feel. They'll have tables out here during the summer months. They have an awesome lobster roll, burgers, different sandwich options, and they also offer desserts as well, like ice cream and shakes. So this is really gonna be a one-stop shop for everything you need. The food here is always good, so make sure it's on your list when heading to Westerly. Now on the next slides, we're gonna list nine other options of places we recommend where you should eat. So now that you're full, we're gonna show you exactly where to stay here in Westerly, Rhode Island. We are standing in front of the iconic Ocean House here in Watch Hill. Now, I personally find this to be one of my favorite properties here in Westerly because not only do you have the views, but you also have the ability to play croquet in the summertime. So they have a croquet court, croquet court right out here where you can play, get some action in. But this hotel is so well known in the state of Rhode Island it's a Forbes five-star hotel, which is of the first in Rhode Island. And they have restaurants in here, they have a spa in here, and this is going to be one of the premier locations that you can stay in here in Westerly, Rhode Island, located in Watch Hill. On the next slides, we're gonna show you some other options of places to stay when visiting Westerly. Thanks for joining us on our tour of Westerly, Rhode Island. If you're looking for more information on Westerly or any other areas in Rhode Island, all of my contact information is in the description below.